Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren Sarasua. I film all things ocean, adventure, travel. So if those things interest you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'm sure you're really gonna love it. Right now, we are in Elfin Cove, Alaska, traveling around on a beautiful fishing boat with Captain Eldon. Hello. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing a bunch of spear fishing. The other day, we already caught some Dungeness crab and some sea cucumbers, made an amazing meal out of it. It's been an incredible adventure. We're about halfway through our trip, and today we are gonna be going out spear fishing. We're gonna go out to some pinnacles in a few hours and see what we can catch. Wish me luck. guys we're leaving Elfin Cove we took a little tour walked around a bit had some delicious lunch at this little place and now we're heading out check out the mountains in front of us can you see the snow covered mountains right there so we're heading out we're gonna finally be doing some fishing and spear fishing so wish me luck I'm super excited today's a little colder than yesterday so We'll see how the water is. Hopefully it's not that much colder. Yesterday it was 50 degrees, so we'll see. Wish me luck. Hey guys, I know you wish that you could spend more time traveling and fishing, so I have a super cool solution for you. It's a video game called Fishing Clash. Fishing Clash has some of the most realistic graphics I've ever seen in a mobile game. It's so realistic that I even suggest it to people who need some help with fish identification. All you guys that go to the fishing forums and post fish trying to get an identification, this game would be awesome for you because not only are you playing this super fun game where you're reeling in all of these different species of fish, but you can learn what they look like and their names. While playing the game, you can travel all over the world exploring different fishing spots and catching different species. There are weekly competitions and events to develop your fishing skills, and you can upgrade your rods and lures to compete with other fishers. You can download the app using the QR code on the screen or using the link in the description. Then once the app is downloaded, follow these three simple steps to claim your gift with my gift code, Fish with Lauren. Once you enter the gift code Fish with Lauren, you'll receive a bunch of really cool rewards. With my gift code, you'll get a unique avatar, one mythical lure, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish. Look at this right now. Look at this weather outside. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Miami, and I can't get out because I'm working, but I have fishing clash that I can play and kind of escape for a little bit and get some fishing in. So what can we expect to see here? Uh, well, you're definitely going to see some black bass, I have a feeling. Um, possibly lingcod, possibly halibut. Let's hope for some halibut. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited to get down and see what's under there. How are you feeling? You ready? Yeah. Feeling pretty good. You excited? Yeah. just want to avoid problems and have <laughs> maximum fun. Yeah. As you can probably tell, Max was really nervous. And Captain Eldon had just finished telling him about wolf eels, orcas, and sea lions that he's experienced in the water. So he was really nervous, but he's such a trooper. He got in anyways, and we still had a great time. Here I am about 30 feet deep, and this lingcod just comes straight for me. He looks a little small, so I just gave him a poke to scare him away, but he just stuck around. So cute.
Here I take another dive down and find myself in a school of black bass. They're all super chill, so I just stayed calm, picked out the biggest one, and took my shot. We're on the board! Oh, that's a nice one. So that's an okay size? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's great. This gun is a f***ing sniper. I'm feeling nauseous. I'm okay heading back in, honestly. Okay, I'm okay heading back in. Okay. Give me your weight belt. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Alright. Thank you. Right, come back. Yup. i say that's a pretty good first outing. We got some dinner fish. Everything's good. So we did some spear fishing today. It's kind of tough because the water was super, super cold. It was 48 degrees. So lost feeling in my hands and feet. But now we're on a little adventure before dinner. We're going to be looking for this lake that Eldon was talking about. We're going to be doing some hiking. So see if we can find it. What's that? This looks more promising. Yeah. <laughs> just rock hopped for about 10 minutes and now we ended up at this beautiful beautiful lake in the middle of nowhere there's bugs everywhere but look at this view so worth it so nice do you know what this is called the lake? Yeah. <clears throat> it might be Tacanus Lake, I don't know. The Tacanus Bay is where we entered from. So I'm assuming it's Tacanus Lake. Okay. But I have a feeling that there's more more than meets the eye. I think this around over there? Yeah, it looks like it cuts in over there. But this is my first time up here. So beautiful. Yeah. fishing in Alaska and we got ourselves some black bass also known as what? Black, black. Oh they got a lot of different names yeah. everyone here calls them black bass black, black rockfish yeah they're kind of the most plentiful uh, rockfish around here and uh, they're excellent excellent fish to eat all right yeah. look how big their eyes are so Eldon was telling me that they're pretty nocturnal fish, so that's why their eyes are so big to allow what little light there is to help them see what's going on down there. I wasn't feeling too well at the end over there. I was getting a little bit nauseous. I don't know why. So we came back in, but we have dinner. We have dinner settled, thank God. And yeah, so what's on the menu tonight, chef? We are going to make a black Bass tacos. Black bass tacos. Yeah, crunchy tacos. Sounds good. And pickled some onion. Probably do a couple more things. Some shredded lettuce. They're gonna be delicious. All right. Yeah. You said something about the spines. Yeah. <clears throat> so you gotta be real careful. You can see the tips there. Yeah. So yeah, they got those, good. and then they have an anal fin spike. Two of them actually, a small one and then a bigger one right there. And uh, they have venom in them, but. Certainly not lethal, but very uncomfortable if you poke yourself deep enough to get some of it in you. It'll burn, burn pretty bad for All a while. Alright. Yeah. Okay, good to know. So it's probably a lot the same as your, as rockfish and stuff that you're doing down there. So you kind of follow that, 
bone right there to get the first cut going. Oh, those are sharp. Like those? I do like those. those banshee are, blades. Those are my banshee blades. They're only they're a 25% recovery fish. So if the if the fish was a 10 pound fish, you'd only get 2.5 pounds of meat off. What? Yeah. It starts shaking. Really? Oh god. I've never had a fish be so squirmy while it's dead. Just following right along. You like that? Yeah. Beauty. Need some risk in it, like. All right, so what's going on this fish? So we don't really have the, the seasonings that we left behind in Miami, but this is just simple adobo. And I'm putting just a little kiss of paprika on top for some color when I brown it. And that's it. And I'm gonna, we're going to serve it with some crema. What's in the crema? Uh, it is a mix, a 50-50 of sour cream and mayo. Mm -hmm. And then it has some adobo in it. It has some uh, fair amount of lime juice. It's got some cilantro. Yeah. It's got some... A little bit of onions, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. The hot sauce of your choice in this case would be mango pepper sauce. Also a small squirt of Dijon mustard and uh, garlic powder. And that's about it. And I also, to sweeten it, just to kind of counter the um, the acidity, uh, you could use uh, agave nectar, you could use honey. You only need about half a tablespoon just to kind of give it a little, just balance it. All right. And that's it. And then what, we're going to put it on the pan and... Yeah, we're going to put it on the pan. We're going to put it and then after we're going to chunk it. And then we're going to serve it with some shredded um, lettuce. I pickled some onions and some jalapenos. And then of course the crema. All right. And it'll be delicious. Can't wait. It's going to be great. I think we're both very excited. I am. <laughs> I pan seared some fish, both sides, a little bit of butter, a little bit of olive oil so the butter doesn't burn. I season both sides with a little bit of adobo and paprika. This is Mexican themed. We're on a boat, we have limited resources. And um, yeah, that's it. So the fish turn out very, very nice, very flaky, very juicy. And now we're about to make some tacos. All right, let's make some tacos. Check out this chunk of fish. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. All right, we got some corn tortilla shells. Yep. We got a special crema that Tell Max them about made. The shells. We have pickled onions and what is this? Jalapeno with some mm. garlic and stuff. This is some fried sage and other herbs. We have lettuce. So, okay. build our tacos. Guys, try it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, my turn. All right, so I put my fish first. I put the crema, I put this herb mix, and then I put the, uh, the lettuce, and then the pickled onions and jalapeno. Let's see. Mm. What, what a lovely crunch. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Now you understand. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're out here trolling for salmon. I'm so excited. I really hope that we catch one because I really, really, really want to eat it raw. I love salmon. It's one of my favorite fish to eat raw. Okay, just have this setup going on. Like a flasher. All right. So just spool it out like this. Yeah. So the line is clipped to a big weight that's going down now, and then there's a flasher like a big flasher and then a smaller flasher at the end with the hook. All right, guys, we're changing strategy. Instead of using this big flasher that's creating a lot of drag, we're going to be using this superior that obviously it has a lot less surface area. Hopefully it'll get down there. Yeah. All right. We got something. All right, little black birds. Can we keep that? We can keep it, yeah. 
Or should, what do you think? Or should we let it go? It's up to you guys. <laughs> Later, buddy. Thank you for your patronage. So we weren't very successful trolling. So now we're trying jigging on a pinnacle. Yep. All right. Wish us luck. Someone snagged the fish. Feels like it's gone. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're getting close. There's the rubber band. Oh, here we go. That is a... Oh, no. Yellow eye. Yellow eye. We got a yellow eye, which we have to absolutely release. Oh, yeah. man. We're going to use the rockfish release device. Oh, man. Beautiful anyway, what a beautiful though. fish. Too bad we gotta let it go. Shit. Yeah. Oh, I think there is something. In it. Oh boy. Yep. We, we got one. No, we don't. Yes, we uh -oh. do. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a glow back. Oh my god, that looks gnarly. Oh my god, that Man. looks. Does it? Is that poisonous? Yeah. <laughs> I see that. All right, guys. This is a quill back. These are protected, so we're not allowed to keep it. Throw this guy back. Later, buddy. Oh no. There you, oh, there you go. go. There you go. Uh, another quill back. Oh man. Oh, a larger one. Larger one. Wow, that one's pretty. It is pretty. Wow. What is it gonna be? I bet you it's the same fish that I just oh, got. No. <laughs> he was on his way down. He's like, oh. <laughs> oh look. Hey. Oh no, it's a black bass. Nice. Woohoo! Woo oh, look at that beauty. We gotta keep her. We gotta keep her. All right. We gotta eat. <laughs> We're going to eat real good. Oh! Oh! oh fish surprise! One. I want to eat that one. <laughs> no, I don't. No, it's a little scraggly. <laughs> All right. Great job, Lauren. Right. Eldon's turn. Oh! Oh, oh wow. It's the yellow eye. Oh, Damn my. Damn it. Look at the size of that one. Wow, that's a big one. Yeah. That's a wow. That is a toad and a half. Jeez. Well, he was barely hooked. Check out this fish called the yellow eye. They're protected here, so you're not allowed to eat them. You can see why they're called yellow eye. He's not gonna make it though. But it's, you see how big the belly is. And that's caused by barotrauma. So that's when you pull up a fish too fast and it just gets super filled with air. It doesn't have enough time to release it. So what we have to do is attach it to this rig that pulls it back down so that it can like shrink again. So what do you do here? You just so you just poke this through the soft part of the lip and then there's no barb on the, on the, hook? On the hook. See, and that sinks them back down. And then when he gets down, Oh, he's already trying to swim, I can feel him. So since there's no barb on the hook, you just give it a yank when it gets down there and it pops out of his. Very cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's off? Yeah. Now watch her pull up a salmon, just shit on everyone. Yeah, quill back. Can you see how even their eyes pop out like that? See the bubbles in it? Yeah, the bubbles in their eyes pop out. Wow. He's about to take a ride. <laughs> Let's send it back down. All right, got a link card. Bring him in. Okay, dude. Chill out. No, about two inches too short. Damn. Well, they're fun to look at, at least. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, get out of here. I got the white flesh on this fish. That is beautiful, beautiful flesh. So our captain said that you don't want to cut into the belly, so you just want to slice it down, more traditional kind of blade. Ah, just got poked by spine. There we go. Look at that fillet. Beautiful. Hey guys, we're pulling up to White Sulphur Hot Springs. It's this little building here. So you can see a little cabin. And the springs are over there, so we're going to go check them out. We just left the boat, flown up to shore, so see you there. Alright, now we trek over there. We've been doing a lot of 
rock hopping. Yesterday we went to this place that was so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It was like in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how many people could have been there like ever because you really have to trek through really tough terrain on the side of a basically a river to get there. A lot harder than this right here. That. Look at the rock. This view. Alright, I'm all changed. Oh my god. Wow, that's super hot. Hanging out. Mm -hmm. 
adorable. How beautiful. We haven't had much fresh water on this trip, so that was nice. <laughs> Guys are cooking some delicious black bass. We're having another amazing meal with sweet potato, portobello mushrooms, grilled onion. Max made this tartar sauce mixed with a store-bought one. Well, he spruced it up with some stuff that he made before. But look at this spread. Beautiful grilled eggplant, delicious vegetables. You guys happy? Very happy. <laughs> I'm extra happy. Oh, I'm happy too. All right. Bon appetit. All right, guys. Believe it or not, it's 9.30 p.m. and the sun is still out. It doesn't go down until, like, pretty late. Alden, what time is sunset? Do you know? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what time, but <laughs> it'll be light until so like, probably 11. Yeah, at least 11. <sighs> so we're going on a post-dinner adventure. We just had an incredible meal. We had some wine. Feeling adventurous. <laughs> so we're gonna head out and see what we can find. In the thick of it! Into the thick of it! There's a bunch of baby black bass jumping all over the place. I don't know if you guys will see it. Wow, this water's so clear. Crazy. Enchanted moss everywhere. Not a bad little view, huh? No. Guys, this is so beautiful. I wish you could see it firsthand. This is incredible. Looks like this whole part just eroded out. And look at this tree that just somehow fell and continued growing. It looks like a bonsai tree. It does. That's what I was thinking before when you pointed it out. It keeps getting better and better. It's endless. That's crazy. Look how deep that goes in. Cheese. All right, we're coming across a beautiful waterfall that we saw from the boat, so we came to explore it. Wow, that's so nice. Guys, thank you so much for following along on our Alaskan adventure. I still have one more video coming at you, but we've had so much fun spearfishing and learning all about these new species, exploring hot springs and finding hidden lakes. It's been such a great adventure. Don't forget to download Fishing Clash and use my gift code FISHWITHLAUREN for all those cool rewards. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.